Hi everyone, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, I'll show you how to create these social media share buttons for your website. And whenever you click on any of these buttons, you'll be taken to the share page of that social media account. And the link of the current page and a title will be automatically inserted to that post. And the only thing that the visitor needs to do then is to click on the share or the post button. So we'll be using some JavaScript to get the link of the current page. And this is also responsive, so if we just decrease the size of our window we can see that the share buttons are at the bottom so let's get started now for these icons we'll be using font awesome so just google for font awesome 5 cdn and uh, then go to this website called cdnjs.com and then go to css and copy this link from here Alright, so I have opened up this blank project in VS Code called Social Share Buttons. So let's create the necessary files. First of all, we'll create an index.html file. And uh, then we need to have a style.css file. And then a JavaScript file. Alright, let's start with the index.html file. In VS Code, we have Emmet extension already installed. So you can just type exclamation and press tab and get this basic HTML5 boilerplate and here we'll link our style.css file and also our font awesome icons all right let's start with creating the content of our page so we'll have a division with the class of content and uh, we'll have an h1 and uh, we'll type some heading over here and a paragraph so let's open this with live server so I have this extension called live server installed on VS code. So I'll just click on open with live server. Right here is our web page. We'll also add an image to our content. So I have opened unsplash.com where you can get free images for your website. So let's just search for technology. And we'll just open this image and we'll copy the image address and we'll create an img tag and paste the link over here in the source and we'll also link our javascript file over here just before the body ends all right now let's create our uh, social media share buttons we will create a division with the class of share button container and in that we'll have some anchor tags for our icons for the href we will just type hash for now but later we'll be changing this using javascript and then inside the anchor tag we'll be adding our icons so to add a font or some icon you have to just type i and give it some classes so we'll be giving a class of fab and fa facebook so this will give us the facebook icon we can see it right here now let me just copy this anchor tag and we'll paste it four more times all right the second icon we want is twitter and uh, then the next one is pinterest and uh, then we have linkedin and uh, lastly we have whatsapp all right i think that's it with our uh, html now let's go to our css and uh, style this page so first of all we'll style the content so we'll just target the content class and uh, we'll give it a padding of 8 pixels and 90 pixels. So we'll have this space for the icons. And then let's also give it a font family of Roboto. Now for using this on a real website, you have to go to fonts.google.com and copy the link of the font into HTML or CSS and then you can use this font. But right now I'm just using the font family as it is because I have this font on my system. I have a complete video on how to use Google Fonts. Right, for the content paragraph, we will give a line height of 1.9. And then for the content image, we'll give a max height of 500 pixels. So here we can see the image. All right now let's start with the share buttons so we'll just type a comment and first of all we'll target the share button container 
and for the container we will give a background color of white and we'll set the display to flex and then flex direction to column so we can see that the icons are one below the other now let's add a padding of 16 pixels and uh, let's set a box shadow of 0, 4 pixels, 8 pixels, RGBA 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.3 and then we'll set the position to fixed so that when we scroll down the icons should not move. Now we have to position this vertically in the center. So for that we'll just type top 50%. So right now we can see that it is starting from the 50% mark but we don't want that. We want to place this whole container at the 50% mark. So for that you have to transform, translate Y and uh, set it to minus 50%. So now we can see that it is perfectly in the center. Now let's style the icons. So for the icons we will just give a font size of 32 pixels and for the anchor tags we will give a margin of 12 pixels top and bottom and uh, 0 for left and right and we'll be changing the size of these icons when we hover over them so we'll also give it a transition of 500 milliseconds so that we'll have a smooth animation now let's style the hover so share button container a colon hover and we'll set the transform scale to 1.2 Right now when we hover over this, we can see that the icons are changing the size. Now we'll also give different colors to our social media icons. So if you go to this website called brandcolors.net, then you can find the brand colors of pretty much any brand you want. So if you want to find the brand color of Facebook, just search for Facebook over here and you can find it right here. So let's set these colors to our icons. So we'll just copy the Facebook color from here and we'll type share button container and for the Facebook icon if we take a look at HTML we can see we have a class called FA Facebook so we'll target that class over here so FA Facebook and we'll set the color and we'll paste the color right here so now we can see that the Facebook has the correct brand color in the same way we'll just copy the colors for the other icons so we'll type share button container fa twitter and uh, then we'll search for twitter and copy this color and then we have linkedin and then we have pinterest and then we have whatsapp Alright, so now we have the correct colors for our icons. Now the last thing we'll do in our style.css is to add the media queries. Media queries are basically added to CSS to make the website responsive. Now let me just decrease the width of our browser. And if you take a look at the original website, we can see that when we are at this width, we have the icons at the bottom. So let's go ahead and add a new media query over here. So We'll just type media query. So you have to type at media max width of 550 pixels. And we'll set the content to have a padding of 8 pixels and 32 pixels. And then for the share button container, we'll remove the transform that we set for the share button container. And we'll also unset the value of top and we'll set the left to 0 and the bottom to 0 we'll set the width to 100% and flex direction to row and we'll also change our box shadow so we'll just copy the box shadow from here and paste it over here and then change this to 0 and change this to 4 pixels and we'll also set the padding to 16 pixels and 0. Now let's style the anchor tags. And for the anchor tags, we'll type margin 0, 32 pixels. 
and uh, we'll also center all the icons horizontally so we'll just type justify content to center all right that's it with our styling now let's go to our main.js file and uh, let's add the functionality now before getting started with the javascript i want to show you where i got the social media share links from so just search for social share links and uh, i just went to this website called crunchify.com and here they have provided the share links of all the popular social networking sites so we'll be using these in our javascript so let's copy these so first of all we'll copy the whatsapp share link and uh, let me just add a comment and uh, then we'll copy the link for Facebook then we have Twitter then we have Pinterest and then we also have LinkedIn now we have to reference all the anchor tags inside our HTML so let's go to our HTML and here we'll give some classes to these anchor tags. So for this one, we will just give it a class of Facebook button. So we'll just copy this and uh, paste it over here and uh, change this to Twitter and change this to Pinterest and change this to LinkedIn and WhatsApp. So now let's go to our main.js file and uh, here we'll type const Facebook button and we'll set that equal to document dot query selector and uh, we'll target Facebook button. So I'll just copy this four more times and uh, we'll type Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn and WhatsApp and uh, we'll change them here as well. Now let's create a function called init and we'll call it when the page loads. All right? let's check whether the JavaScript is working. So let's console log something and let's inspect and go to console and we can see hello. So our JavaScript is working. Now we need to pass some information to these links. For example, for the WhatsApp link, you have to add the post title and the post URL and uh, if you go to Pinterest we also have this option of post image so these are the three things we are going to need in our uh, init function and in Twitter we also have these options of via and hashtags so if you want you can add this information as well but I'll just remove these we'll just add the title and the URL alright so let's go ahead and add those variables over here you can get the location of the current page in JavaScript using document location href. So let me just open the console and uh, here we'll type document dot location dot href. And here we can see the link of the current page. So we'll be using this in our JavaScript. So let's create a new variable and uh, we'll name the variable post URL. And here we'll type document dot location dot href and we'll create another variable for the post title so we can set the post title to anything we want so we'll set it to hi everyone please check this out now we also need the post image for pinterest so let's go to our html and uh, in img we will also give it a class of pinterest image and we'll just get the source value of our image in the javascript so let's go to our JavaScript and we'll create a new constant and we'll name it Pinterest image and uh, we'll set it to document dot query selector Pinterest image and we'll create a variable called post image and uh, we'll set it to Pinterest img dot src. Now these values may not be in the correct format of a URL. It may contain characters that are not allowed in a URL. So for that you have to use a function in JavaScript called encode URI. We'll do it with all these variables over here.
Now the last thing we need to do is set the href for the anchor tags. So first of all, we'll type Facebook button dot set attribute. And here you have to provide two arguments. One is the name of the attribute. So the name of the attribute is href. And the second one is the value. So we'll use template literals in JavaScript for the value so that we can use these variables easily in our string. So for writing template literals in JavaScript, you have to use backticks. And let's copy the share link of Facebook. And uh, we'll paste it right here. Now we'll replace the post URL with the post URL variable that we created over here. So we'll just type dollar symbol and in curly braces you can type the name of the variable. So we'll type post URL over here. Now we'll do the same thing with all our buttons. So we'll just copy this and we'll paste it four more times. And uh, here we'll type Twitter button and we'll copy the link of Twitter from here. And we'll paste it over here and we'll replace these with variables. So here we will type post URL and uh, then here we have post title and the next one is Pinterest and we'll copy the link from here. Now let's replace the post image with our post image variable. and replace post URL with the post URL variable and we'll remove this is video from here because this is not a video and then we'll replace this with post title alright then we have LinkedIn and uh, we'll copy the LinkedIn link from here and uh, here we have post URL and post title and lastly we have whatsapp so let's copy the link from here and paste it down here and replace this with post title and post URL alright that's it with our JavaScript now let's see whether it works so we can see that the link is displayed at the bottom over here and we don't have links for this so let's see whether we have some error so let's right click over here and click on inspect and we have this error on line 40 cannot read property set attribute of null so let's go to line 40 and we don't have the value of twitter button so let's go up and uh, see whether we have written everything correctly so here we have a typo we have only one t over here so twitter with two t's all right now let's open the console and we don't have any error so let's test one of these so let's click on the twitter button and we can see we have this share page of twitter and we have the title and also the link of the current page let's click on linkedin to go to the share page of linkedin we have to first log in so the visitor can just enter their email id and password and sign in and they will get to the share page of linkedin so this is how you create custom share buttons for your website so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day